Hello stampers, this is super awesome stamper Shirley Merker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Wisconsin, USA. In this video, I will show how to sh create this hand stamp greeting card. It's part of my April 2022 Pretty Paper Projects PDF emailed tutorial. So let's get started. I will first do the stamping and let's do the inside. Uh, the stamps I'm using are from the What's Cooking stamp set. They are rubber mounted cling stamp sets. So that's gonna be on the inside. Set that aside. And then I'm gonna pull in my little chef's hat. I only need one. There are three of them on, on the stamp image. I only need one because I already have one from another from doing a sample. So I brought in a little bit of scratch paper. So one's right at the top there and one's on the inside. Set that aside. And I just use that scratch paper to keep my mat a little cleaner. All right, next I've got all these other scraps on my bin or on my table. So I've lined them up according to how large they were. We've got the spatula. And I am inking in real red, the spoon. I like creating cards that have got these smaller die cut shapes because then I can delve into my scrap pile and use up some scraps. The knife. And this was for Oh, the three vegetables again, because I'm going to fussy cut those out and place them around the bowl. And then the last one is the bowl. Let me put that at an angle so it fits a little better on that scrap. Okay, and I've got all the stamping done. Oh, almost. We've got to stamp the sentiment. And I did not bring a scrap over for that. Here we go. Here's a good scrap. I've got my scrap of basic white just on the top of my mat here. Look at that scrap was made for this sentiment. I'm going to fussy cut that sentiment out as well. All right. So now I'm going to step away and die cut all these shapes. I'll be right back. So here are the shapes after I die cut them. That's just the waist. And spatula. Knife, Oop, I got rid of the spatula there, and spoon. And then here is the die cutting set. It's from the cooking dies. Here are the rest of the dies in that set. I didn't use all the dies. And then the stamp set is called What's Cooking. And through the end of the uh, catalog, which is through May 2nd, 2022, if you buy the stamp set and the dies, Using the bundle item number, you will get 10% off the individual prices. Now I'm just fussy cutting around the sentiment. I didn't want to punch it. I didn't want to die cut it. It has an odd shape. So I just wanted some white around the words and that was it. Not a whole lot of white space. These are our paper snips and they weren't perfect for fussy cutting. All right, I'm going to fussy cut these other four shapes and fast forward. All right, next step is to grab my card kit. So I've got a base of Daffodil Delight. So standard A2 size, eight and a half by 11, five and a half tall, scored at four and a quarter along that eight and a half side. And then I've got the first layer, which is the real red. And I've cut it to five inches by four inches. So there's a quarter inch of mat around, quarter inch mat of Daffodil Delight. Next layer is the paper from the hand penned paper pack. Now the this is the actual last piece besides smaller scraps that I have of this pattern. So this card's gonna have to be orientated horizontal. We'll get a little different look with that. 
um, which means this will go right there. And I'm okay with that. I had stamped it to be a vertical one, but that's all right. Oh, before I set that down, I want to do something different with the doily for this one. So now we've got this piece of real red. It measures, um, well, the designer series paper measures a 3.75 by 5 inches. So the real red measures, let me grab that measurement, 2 by 5 inches. And the doily... I am going to set it off to the side, just like I did in the vertical card. And a little bit of stamp and seal where the doily is gonna go. And the doily has a front and back side. You'll uh, figure out which side is front and back. The back side is the side that has the paper pushed through it or the laser pushed through it. And I am going to wrap it over. I think it gives a prettier look. And then I'm going to come with my paper snips and just cut along that so that there is something for the stamp and seal to grab. And wrap it over. And you can run another length of adhesive over that. All right, I'm just gonna go on the front towards the bottom. Okay, next layer is gonna be our bowl and we need to tuck all of our utensils in there. So, like this, I've got less depth to work with here. How about I kinda do them um, at an angle here. Something like that. And then the bowl will just cover the tips. Okay, so to hear those down, I think I'm going to grab my glue dots. One there. I'm not going to worry about the handles. It'll be tucked below the bowl, so. This one, I'm not gonna worry about the blade. I'm just gonna put a glue dot up on the handle. And I thought it looked really funny with uh, the knife point sticking out. Safety first, right? Okay. Use some stamp and seal to secure the bowl over the doily. So the doily is supposed to look like a, I may have to cut that off. Doily is supposed to look like a tablecloth. Mm. That looks good. All right, I'm gonna pop this up on some dimensionals. Here's where our minis are a good bet. Can get them, place them in the corners there. All right, it's gonna go in the upper corner again. Grab another mini dimensional for one of those chef's hats. And what else? Oh, we've got our vegetables. So there's a mushroom slice and what looks like a tomato. And this looks like a curl of celery, you know, when you would cut it off the stock. And this one goes on the inside. Okay. 
Oh, and I had a couple of things I was going to do. Where's the rest of that doily? That doily I was going to tuck behind, which I didn't do on my sample card. Might as well use it. doesn't have to be thrown in the scrap pile. And I'm looking to see which side is the back. Yep, I had it the right way. Looking to see which side was the back side. Okay. actually put the chef's hat right there. All right, now on the front, we've got a tomato slice. We could probably put those down here, huh? Should we do that on this card? Leave a comment and let me know if you like this. New orientation. Okay, and the last thing on the sample card are these pearls. Now, I don't have a full sheet left, but these are our basic pearl jewels and I colored them so they are kind of white mostly whitish a little bit off-white but if you have Stampin' Blends you can color them in whatever color you have Stampin' Blends so let me get the blends and I know I use the light hopefully I grab the light where does it say that yep the light daffodil delight Gonna use the thicker end. And doesn't really matter where I start. All you do, I try to use just the side of the tip, so I'm not crushing that tip. And you just run it around. Just adds a slight little yellow tinge to it. And since these are alcohol based, they will dry rapidly. And I just placed it one on either end of that of our tablecloth. Just for a little bit of a finishing touch. Something that's non-paper. I couldn't figure out any ribbon for this card, but then I thought, well, we got the pearls and that fits perfectly. There. So, this card works both ways, either vertical or horizontal. It features the cook and dies and the What's Cooking stamp set. The bundle and the stamp set are featured on page 34 of the annual catalog. So here you see some other samples using the products in the bundle. And then the other supplies I used on the card would be the Real Red cardstock, the Daffodil Delight cardstock, along with the Stampin' Blend combo, you get a light and a dark in a package. I use basic white for my neutral cardstock. The hand penned designer series paper is what I use, this yellow pattern right there for my designer series paper. The square vellum doilies are on page 135, right there. And the pearl basic jewels are what I colored with the Daffodil Delight blends. And last, we have got the mini dimensionals, number two on page 167. So I hope you enjoyed my card. This is part of the April 2022 Pretty Paper Projects emailed tutorial where a bunch of demonstrators collaborate and we share a project photo and the supplies and the measurements we use to create the card in that emailed PDF tutorial. You get these tutorials, which change monthly, by placing an order through my online store at sjsinks.stampinup.net and using a host code if your order is less than $150, excluding shipping and tax. That host code changes every month, so make sure you check my blog to use the current host code. If your order is greater than $150, excluding shipping and tax, don't use a host code, but remain shopping with me to earn your Pretty Paper Projects tutorial. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button before you head out, and we'll stamp with you soon. Bye.